Shared work problems are a common application of rational equations. In this example, we have Rebecca and John. Rebecca can clean the house in four hours. John can clean the house in six hours. We're asked how long will it take for the two of them to clean the house together. Now, the first thing that might come to our minds is that the average of four and six is five. And we can certainly rule that answer out pretty quickly because it doesn't make sense for them to take more time cleaning the house together than it would take Rebecca to clean the house working alone. So our next guess after that might be, well, the average is five hours, but there are two of them working, so what about 2.5 or 2.5? Turns out this gives us a much better estimate, but it also doesn't turn out to be quite correct simply because the person who works faster ends up doing more of the job. So we don't want a straight average of their times. We would need some sort of weighted average of their times, which means that things start to get a little bit more complicated. So this is where the algebra comes in. What we're going to do is fill in this table with time to complete job in hours and fraction of the job that is completed in one hour. Rebecca takes four hours to complete the job, and John takes six hours. And together we don't know, so that's where we're going to put in our variable. Now for the time uh, to complete job, getting from that to the fraction completed in one hour, we would say, well, if Rebecca takes four hours to clean the house, then that presumably means that in one hour she has cleaned about one-fourth of the house or completed one-fourth of the job, at least measuring in terms of time. John would complete one-sixth of the job in one hour. And following this pattern, we can see that 1 over x represents the amount of the job, the fraction of the job, that the two of them would complete working together in one hour. The way that we get our equation here is by seeing what happens in one hour. We can see that if they're working together, then in one hour, we would have Rebecca's portion plus John's portion should equal the fraction of the job that got completed by both of them working together. So we can see that our equation comes from looking at what happens in one hour. I'm going to write this equation again so that we can focus on solving it, because once we have our equation, we no longer need to think about where it came from, at least while we're going through the steps of solving it. We will need to think about it again at the very end. I want to find an LCD. 12 is the least common multiple of 4 and 6. And since I also have an X in my denominator, I need to include an X in my LCD. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this by 12X. Over here on the right-hand side, I can see that the x's drop right out, leaving me 12 remaining on the right. On the left-hand side, the x is not going to drop out from either product. I need to distribute 12x into both terms. So both of these terms are still going to have an x, and I can see what's left by doing 12 times 1 is 12, divided by 4 is 3, so that first term becomes 3x. 12 times 1 is 12, divided by 6 is 2, so this second term becomes 2x. Now my equation is very simple, and I can combine these two terms to get 5x equals 12. This is a linear equation, which can be solved in one more step by just dividing both sides by 5. So my final answer is x equals 12 over 5, or I could write this in decimal form as 2.4 and answer this up here at the top and say 2.4 hours. I can see that that is close to the 2.5 estimate that I had come up with just using basic logic, but I also can see that it's a little smaller because the more efficient person ends up doing more of the job, we should always come out with a 
total amount of time working together that's a little bit smaller than what we get by taking the average of their two times and dividing by the number of people working.